Hey guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here, and welcome to something a little bit different. I thought today we would do a little bit more of a casual type of video and talk about some fall favorites. So, the products for both hair and skin that I've been loving for the past couple of months. As you can probably imagine for this channel, I try out loads of different products. So I thought it would just be something fun to kind of talk to you guys about what have been my favorites recently. And then a little bit later on in the video, I thought I would give you guys kind of a sneak peek at a few things that are upcoming for the channel. So I've got a lot of products in front of me to go through. So let's start with skin first and then we'll just work our way up to hair products. So the first thing I want to mention is this Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask from Kiehl's. Now I know I mentioned this in my skincare video, but this is just something that I've been continually impressed with. It just, it performs really well. It really just kind of draws out impurities from your skin. It shrinks the pores. And for someone who's prone to an oily T-zone like I am, this is the perfect mask for that. It's really sort of designed for the T-zone. And um, it just, it works really, really well. And it's actually got um, bentonite in it so that gives you an idea of what that can also do for your hair if it's you know that good for your skin it's good for your hair as well um, but yeah definitely highly recommended probably good to use this one to two times a week and um, it just makes your skin look really good next up is this midnight recovery eye cream also from Kiehl's so as you guys obviously know I have dark circles and they're mostly genetic but partially to do with allergies and other things and so I've been trying a number of different eye creams to see if anything could help to brighten them or sort of alleviate them a little bit. So I use this every night before bed and it's been kind of hard to notice the change in real time as I'm just looking at myself in the mirror but I've looked back at some of my older videos and the difference that this has made is huge. Now it is pricey, I think this little half an ounce tube was something like $35, but you use like the tiniest amount. So I've had this for easily two months now and I don't think I've even used like an eighth of it. And last but certainly not least on my favorite skin products list is this new Lotus Youth Preserve face cream from Fresh. Um, I ran out of my old moisturizer. I was using Baxter of California's oil-free moisturizer, which is also quite good. But I ran out of that and um, I was with my wife in Sephora and they have a men's skincare section and Fresh has a lot, a lot of stuff. And so I tried a few moisturizers while I was there and I just really loved this one. It's, um, it feels very, very light. It's not at all oily. So again, if you're prone to oily skin or oily T-zone, this is gonna be very good for you. Um, it just, it makes my skin feel very moisturized and healthy, but without feeling oily at all. Also smells pretty good. It just kind of reminds me of cucumber. Like it's a very light, fresh scent <laughs> and um, you know you don't smell it for very long after you've applied it but I just been very impressed with this so far and um, highly recommended everybody should have a really good facial moisturizer all right moving on into hair products and I've got a lot of them here so I thought I would kind of start with shower and prep and then move into like pre stylers and then post styling so firstly I've been loving this viral color wash shampoo by celeb luxury uh, essentially what this is, is a purple shampoo, and if you aren't familiar with purple shampoos, they are essential if you do any kind of lightening or bleaching to your hair. And what they're designed to do is take any kind of yellowing or brassiness out of your hair and restore it back to that nice ashy tone. So it's really acting almost like having a toner done at the salon. So basically, if you look at it on a color wheel, purple is the opposite of yellow. So those two colors essentially cancel each other out. Now, this um, viral color wash shampoo, it is a purple shampoo, so it does all that stuff that I was just talking about, but this also has color posit in it. So basically, it acts like a semi or maybe a demi permanent color. So it will wash out at, like if you, you know, rinse your hair again without using this. But um, essentially, they have this in a lot of different colors. So I have the silver one, which I started using as we were kind of transitioning from blonde highlights into kind of silvery lavender which obviously now has just become purple um, 
but they have all different colors. You can also get plain ones uh, if you just want a regular old purple shampoo. They smell great. I mean, some purple shampoos like Fanola works really well, but it smells like a little old lady and it sticks around forever. So I was happy that this stuff just smells really nice and citrusy. And the color posit actually works very, very well. I've been super impressed. And they actually do conditioners uh, with this as well, which is nice because the one slight downside to this shampoo is that it can be quite a bit drying. So if you do use this, you wanna make sure that you condition very, very well afterward. But if you find that it's too drying for you, you can get this in a conditioner instead and it still works the same way, just without being so drying. Next up, for those days that you're not washing your hair, I have a new favorite dry shampoo and that's the new Dust by The Salon Guy. This stuff has just been awesome. Um, as with all of his products, it smells great. It's very high end. It's just, just top salon quality, works awesome. Um, I've been a big fan of the Moroccan oil dry shampoos. They work great as well. But honestly, to, for me, this stuff works even better. Uh, does a great job at removing excess oil. It does also a great job at removing any unwanted smells. So like if you've you know been to a diner or around some heavy smokers or something and your hair smells like that, this can remove those. Um, and it just, it does a really good job as a dry shampoo. All right, moving into pre-stylers now. And the first thing on my list, and I feel like it's kind of always gonna be on my favorites, is 25 by The Salon Guy. I use this absolutely every time I wash my hair, regardless of any other pre-stylers I might be using. This stuff always goes in. Um, it's just very conditioning, makes your hair feel very soft and moisturized, and my hair tends to be on the drier, coarser side anyway, so this is just super, super helpful. Uh, it helps to prolong color, and it just it can add some volume. It smells like heaven. Uh, it's just the perfect thing to use before blow drying and if I could buy this in like a five gallon drum I would so yeah get your hands on some 25. Next up is something that I used a long time ago and I kind of rediscovered it as I was going through my massive pile of hair products and kind of getting rid of old things and, and that sort of stuff and I rediscovered crew comb by Master Wellcomb. Now I didn't really use this all that much uh, since I reviewed it because it just, at the time, it didn't seem like something that would work very well for me. They, they call it an extra super hold hair styling prep. Now, while I don't think that's necessarily accurate because I would call it more of a medium hold product, um, I've discovered that using this as a pre-styler on damp hair is absolutely fantastic. This has all kinds of good oils in it, and um, so again, it's something that's very conditioning. So for someone with drier hair like mine, it really, really helps to use this before blow drying. It just makes my hair feel very soft and very healthy. It adds barely any shine at all, so it just makes your hair look just natural. And um, it does, like I said, it does add a little bit of a medium hold, so it gets your hair into the shape that you want and ready for post styling. And um, it's, this thing is huge. I mean, it's four ounces, it's cheap, and it just works great. So I'm kind of happy that I found this in my closet. And finally, we're moving on to post styling. And I've just got one this time. And my latest favorite has been this Fire and Brimstone Matte Clay from Lockhart's. Um, if you watched my review of this, you already know how much I absolutely love it. So I won't go too far into depth other than saying it's a fantastic clay. Matte finish, quite a high hold. The smell is unbelievable. Um, it's the price is right. It's just, it's really good stuff. I've been very impressed with it and I am really glad that I bought this. All right, so now that we've gone through all of those fall favorites of mine, I thought I would give you guys just a little bit of a sneak peek at a couple of upcoming videos that I've got going on in the channel. So first things first, upcoming reviews. Now you guys have been asking for this a lot, so I do have the Ocean Clay by Shavu and Dre Drexler, so I have been testing this out, so expect that review coming very soon. I do also have their Activating Oil Cleanser, so I will be reviewing this as well. Uh, this will be coming in a little while. I want to be, you know, I want to have used this for a while before reviewing it, just to discover any potential long-term effects of using it. And finally, we are rapidly approaching 5,000 subscribers here, which thank you guys so much for that. It's awesome. I honestly 
never thought that I would get even over 1,000. So it, the, the fact that the number keeps going up is just super exciting for me. So I want to do something special for a 5K type of video. So I thought maybe a 5K Q&A would be a fun idea. Um, so if you guys like that idea, if you have questions for me, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'll also have an Instagram post going up for that very soon. So if you have questions, you can post them there as well. And with that, that brings this video to a close. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I definitely liked doing this kind of more casual vibe, just talking about some products that I like type of thing. So if you liked it as well, please do let me know down below, hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so to keep up with all the upcoming content. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching and we'll see you at the next one.